What's up, AMC? I am Christian Harloff, and I am excited because I get to talk to you guys about my most anticipated movies of 2015. There are a ton of them, um, but we only get to do 10, so I'm going to count down 10 of the ones I am most excited about. Let me start with number 10. Surprised it's so low on my list because there's so many other ones I want to see, but Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight. One of the reasons why it's so low on the list is because we don't necessarily know if it is absolutely going to come out in 2015. They say so, but it's Tarantino. If he wants it to come out in 2020, that's when it's coming out. But what do we know so far about it? It's a Western. It's going to have that Tarantino spin on it. It's got some crazy lady chained up to an outlaw. It's going to be nuts. It's Tarantino, so why wouldn't you want to see it? And that is why it clocks in for me at number 10. Number nine, get the John Williams score ready or someone who is duplicating the John Williams score for Jurassic World. Chris Pratt, is he funny? Is he serious? Is it a mixture? Who knows? But he's running around with raptors on a motorcycle. That's enough for me to want to see Jurassic World. Colin Trevorrow is directing this. This to me seems so far like the movie that I really wanted to see from a sequel for Jurassic Park. We haven't gotten one. This seems to be the one. Fingers crossed, trailer was cool, and you had a shark getting eaten by a big old dinosaur, so I'm ready to go. Number eight, people might think that this is surprising to be on the list, but I'm not. It is The Kingsman. Why? Because Matthew Vaughn is a directing superstar. That's right, I said it, I love the guy. I have probably geeked out about this guy every single time on AMC Movie Talk. And there is buzz so far for this film. It was pushed back. I don't care. I think it was pushed back because Matthew Vaughn is going to tweak it. It comes out in February. And I think that between Colin Firth and this new coming kid, I don't know who he is, but I guarantee you will know who he is. I think this is going to be the most, one of the most surprising movies of 2015. So sign me up, Kingsman. I'm ready for some rated R humor. Sam Jackson as the bad guy? Yes, please. Number seven, Ant-Man. You got it right, Ant-Man, for a product that somebody's like, well, what is Ant-Man? What's going on? It's a mess. Edgar Wright's leaving. Uh, it just It's about a guy that turns into an ant. This is going to be a mess. I don't think so. I think this is going to be one of the most profitable movies, but most it's going to deliver on so many different scales, whether it be with the technology they use to shrink him into a tiny ant. Paul Rudd is a guy that you would never assume was going to be a superstar uh, in the superhero world just like Chris Pratt. Marvel knows how to do it, and I think what they're going to do, the way they're going to tie this into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is going to make Ant-Man one of the most surprising movies of 2015. Number six, get the popcorn and the cheese ready for Fast 7. Fast and Furious 7, it is one of those movies that has just reinvented itself. By the time you get to 7 in a movie franchise, usually that Chucky or Jason goes to space and all this kind of nonsense that you're like, ah, oh, it's just another one go direct to, 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 to TV. Not with this franchise. It, by, by the time we got to number five, it is now an action franchise. People are just ready and lining up to go to the theater to see what this movie is. Yes, we are going to miss the late Paul Walker. I'm very curious to see how they, the whole team reacts, how the story is going to interweave and to, to associate Paul Walker's death. But I also want to see how Jason Statham is going to be as the villain. We haven't seen him as the villain, at least I don't, not in a while anyway. So to see him go toe to toe with Vin Diesel is going to be amazing. And that's why Fast 7 clocks in for me. All right, here comes the top five. Now, say what you will, I don't care. I really, really enjoyed Mockingjay Part 1, and that's why Mockingjay Part 2 is going to be number five for me. Essentially, this is the second half of the first movie. That's fine. I know what happens in, in the end of this movie. I, so far, the way that they set it up, I thought the characters were set up very well that the conclusion will deliver so far. Francis Lawrence has re has a real hold on this movie. Jennifer Lawrence, we all know, is a superstar. She has embodied what Katniss Everdeen was all about in the novels, has really made her an epic film character, and it's over. They're not going to milk it any more than Mockingjay Part 2. We're done with the franchise. I cannot wait to look. I'm, that's why I'm looking forward to it. Sign me up, Mockingjay Part 2, Part 2, and don't be silly and by messing up some silly song this time. And I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's get to number four. Number four. Now, this probably would have been a lot lower on my list had the trailer not just come out. And I'm talking about Mad Max Fury Road. George Miller is back. And that is one of the main reasons this trailer looks as spectacular as it is. Because 
this guy has a hold on the character. It's a continuation to what this character has done so far. It's not just, hey, we need to have another Mad Max story and just throw in some CGI. And No, this is the creator. This is the guy who's been working on this story for a long time. And it looks like we're going to have a very strong heroine in Charlize Theron. What a great actress to play this character and to have Tom Hardy, who's one of my favorites. They're back and forth, set in this world. If you haven't seen the trailer, watch it because it's one of the best trailers to come out in 2014 leading up to a great 2015 film fingers crossed number three i know a lot of people might be surprised this is so high on my list um but after another trailer tomorrowland i was blown away by this trailer because i went to d23 which is disney's expo and brad bird and damon lindelof came out and they almost put me to sleep with what they were talking about it was like drinking three bottles of nyquil listening to them go over this and that i'm like oh my god this is going to be a boring movie and then the trailer comes out and the girl she gets a hold of that coin and just that little special effect just that much jumped it that high on my list because you just have george clooney's voiceover and the way they're setting up this kind of futuristic world and i was on amc movie talk recently and asked what was my genre science fiction fantasy that's this movie it's new it's it's based off of a couple ideas that they had in disney for the longest time. And this really looks like something that could be very special. Brad Bird killed it with Mission Impossible 4. And I know Mission Impossible 5 is not on my list. It's an honorable mentions, sorry. But Brad Bird really has a hold on this, um, on just filmmaking in general right now. He really does. So I can't wait to see his vision and how he brings Tomorrowland to life. Number two, I'm sure this is everybody's number two and one, but it doesn't matter. We all gotta have different opinions on it. Number two, The Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. You want to talk about trailers that were incredible. Let's talk about Ultron. This is, seems to be the first Marvel villain that is almost like the Darth Vader of the franchise. He's terrifying. James Spader's voice adds a, a level of just menace. And to see where you know eventually the Marvel storyline will go down with Civil War, key story points have to happen in this movie. How does it happen? This, you're gonna find out. This is the end of phase two. So there is so much. If you're not anticipating this, then you might not just be a superhero fan, and that's fine. But if you are, then it has to be in your top two. It has to be. Um, there is just so much, there's so much drama coming and so much action. And what's gonna happen to the Hulk? Why is he fighting Iron Man? There's so many questions that ultimately will be answered in Ultron. Number one, Tammy part two. No, Star Wars. Star Wars is coming out. It is a year less than a year away. I cannot wait for Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you if you've been watching movie talk for a little bit, you probably want me to shut up about Star Wars. I love it. I can talk about it for the, for all my days, especially the fact that I know that a new one is coming out. What we've seen so far in the teaser, we're getting that feel back that we got from the original trilogy. What will it all mean? Who will Andy Serkis play? Will he play Darth Plagueis? I don't know, and I hope so. Will Max von Sydow play Kanan from Rebels? I don't know, but I hope so. Will all these questions be answered? I don't know, but I hope so. There's so many cool things that will happen in this movie because you will feel like a kid again. I show my three-year-old daughter the trailer. She wants to keep watching it over and over and over again because Star Wars just has that kind of magic. We haven't, I know a lot of people like the prequels, but for me, I feel like we haven't had a real Star Wars movie since 1983. Three, say what you want about the prequels. I'm talking about me, and this is the one I'm anticipating because I feel like I'm getting that magic back. It's it's just something very special. The Star Wars universe is back. It'll be back in December 18th, 2015. I will be there. I will probably have seen it six or seven times before it even comes out. I can't wait. I'll find a way. But that's it. That's my list. And like I said, one of the honorable mentions is Mission Impossible. That's a movie I really want to see as well. Um, had it not been for Tarantino, it probably would have been my number 10. But that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm very curious to hear what you guys are looking forward to. Comment below and uh, let us know exactly what you're looking for. And happy holidays, the whole la, 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 happy new year. And we'll see you back in 2015. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.